Imagine this. You wake up, pick up your phone. Before you've even gotten out of bed, it's already handled your schedule, adjusted your smart home, prepped your commute, and even suggested what you should wear based on the weather and your calendar and... Now imagine that phone is the iPhone 18 Pro Max. This isn't about tiny year-to-year -year updates. This is about a phone that could quietly replace your camera, your laptop, your wallet, your keys, and maybe even your assistant. Nothing about the iPhone 18 Pro Max is official yet, but if you connect the dots from where Apple is right now and where they clearly want to go, a very realistic picture starts to form, and once you hear it, you might actually rethink every upgrade between now and then. Start with what you see and touch every day, the design. By the time we get to an 18 Pro Max, it's completely believable that the front of the phone is pure screen, no notch, no dynamic island, no visible camera hole at all. Face ID sensors in the selfie camera can be hidden under the display, only appearing when needed. You tap the dark glass, it wakes instantly, silently scans your face through the pixels, and unlocks before you even fully realize what happened. The frame will almost certainly double down on premium materials. It's next generation titanium, or an even more advanced alloy that's strong enough to survive real drops on concrete. But light enough that a max sized phone doesn't feel like a brick in your hand or pocket. The flat edges we know today might evolve into something slightly softer and more ergonomic, but still instantly recognizable as an iPhone Pro Minimal. Sharp, precise, like a high-end watch scaled up into a phone physical buttons as we know. Them could disappear, replaced by solid state. Haptic buttons that don't actually move but feel like they do when you press them. No moving parts means fewer failure points, better water resistance, and a cleaner look. And yes, there's a very real chance this is the model that finally goes completely portless. Number lightning, no USB-C, just fast wireless charging and high-speed wireless data transfer. You drop it onto a MagSafe-style puck, it snaps in two. Perfect position with magnets, charges faster than many wired chargers today. And simultaneously backs up your phone or syncs data in the background. Some people will hate losing the port, others will love how clean and sealed the design becomes, but from Apple's point of view, a portless phone is tougher, simpler, and very on brand. Now think about the one feature most people secretly care about more than anything, the camera. Cinematic mode could evolve into something that's barely distinguishable from real optical depth of field. No strange halos around hair. No fake blur that screams software, just a natural. Film-like look created by a mix of bigger sensors, faster lenses, and much more powerful AI. And that takes us to the real hidden engine of this phone, on device intelligence. By the time we're talking about an iPhone 18 Pro Max, Apple's chips will likely be built on a tiny, power-efficient process like 2 nanometers or better. In normal language, that means more power, less heat, and better battery life. But the real story is the neural engine, the part dedicated to AI and machine learning. Imagine pointing your camera at a scene, taking one photo, and instantly getting multiple pro-level edits to choose from a clean documentary look, a dramatic cinematic look, a punchy social ready look, all generated on the phone with no data sent to the cloud, picture recording a long video and later saying, show me just the parts where I was talking about the trip, and the phone automatically finding, cutting and assembling those moments for you. Think about Siri, but not the frustrating limited Siri you know today. Think about a version that's actually useful, context aware and fast. You could say, book dinner with John tomorrow after work at somewhere we liked last time. And it understands. It finds John in your contacts. Checks your calendar. Looks at restaurants you visited and rated positively. Finds a spot near your usual area. At. And sets it up without needing a bunch of extra clarifying questions. It understands what's on your screen. Who you're talking about. And what you usually do at certain times. All processed privately on your device. Now zoom out and look at daily life with this phone. You walk up to your car and it unlocks. The moment you reach for the handle, because car key has become standard on more vehicles and the connection is instant and secure. You walk into your office and your phone acts as your badge. You check into a hotel and your phone is your room. Key. 
You go to the airport and your boarding pass, ID, payment method, and loyalty cards all live in one secure place behind next generation face ID and maybe even additional biometric checks. Battery life can't just be a little better. With more efficient chips and improved battery chemistry, a big-bodied Pro Max realistically should give you something like two full days of normal use on a single charge. iOS will keep getting smarter and more aggressive about killing off useless background activity that drains your battery, and more intelligent about when and how it wakes up your phone with notifications. Charging becomes almost invisible. You. Drop the phone onto a slim magnetic pad on your desk or nightstand, and it snaps into place. Shoots up from almost empty to a major top-up in well under an hour, then slows down as it approaches 100% while you sleep. So the long-term battery. Health stays strong. Apple software quietly learns your routine when you sleep. When you wake up, when you leave for work, and optimizes charging around that. Now think about the line between your phone and your computer. With Apple Silicon already blurring, that line on the Mac side, an iPhone 18 Pro Max, could easily handle a lot of what many people still use a laptop for. Picture wirelessly connecting your phone to a monitor or TV, pairing a keyboard and trackpad. Suddenly you're dropped into a more desktop-like mode for email, multitasking documents, and even video editing. You're probably not. Cutting a huge Hollywood movie on it, but you might be editing full YouTube videos. Running a side hustle, managing a small business, handling your finances, or doing schoolwork. All from one device that slips into your pocket when you stand. Up. That's exactly how Apple likes to design the ecosystem. Your iPhone as the hub with your Apple Watch. AirPods, Mac, iPad, and even your car and smart home orbiting around it. So should you actually be thinking about the iPhone 18 Pro Max, right? Now in the US, you know how carriers play the game non-stop trade and deals. Get the new Pro for little or no money down, aggressive promos every single year. Apple, meanwhile, keeps older phones supported for years with software and security updates. Which means the real question for most people isn't will the 18 Pro Max be insane? It almost certainly will it's where do I get the biggest jump for my money? If you're on an iPhone 13, 12 or older, any of the Pro models between now and 18 are going to feel like a huge leap in cameras. Battery, speed, and display. Wading through multiple generations. Holding on to an aging phone just because something even crazier is coming is a game you can never really win. There will always be a next big thing. Ain't. But if you already have a recent Pro, and you like to keep your phone for several years, then waiting for a major generational shift actually does make sense. The 18 Pro Max could be exactly that. The mature version of Trends Apple is already pushing today like fully immersive displays. With no cutouts, serious on-device AI, truly pro-level cameras. And deeper integration with your car, your home, and your work. In the end, the iPhone 18 Pro Max, if Apple keeps moving in this direction, won't just be a little faster with a slightly better camera. It could be the moment your phone becomes the only computer most people really need. Quietly replacing. Your camera bag, your wallet, your keys, and maybe even your laptop for a huge part of your day. The real decision for you is about timing and lifestyle. Do you want steady, smaller upgrades every year or two? Or are you waiting for that one big, generation-defining jump where everything feels different? Because if Apple sticks the landing, the iPhone 18 Pro Max might be that jump hand before you forget. Ask yourself this. If you could choose only three things for your dream iPhone 18 Pro Max, what would they be? A completely portless sealed design? True to day battery life? Camera that finally lets you leave your DSLR or mirrorless at home forever? Or an actually smart context aware assistant that feels less like an app and more like a real digital teammate? Your answer to that right now is probably a preview of the phone you'll end up carrying in the very